वेलकम टू नेटवर्क नट्स यूट्यूब चैनल दिस इज आर लोक श्रीवास्तव वंस अगेन नाउ फॉर अ चेंज आई एम गोइंग टू शो यू समथिंग ऑन लेनक्स हाउ आई कैन यूज मॉनिटरिंग टूल्स लाइक सार कैप्चर द डेटा हाउ माय सर्वर इज बिहेविंग राइट लाइक हाउ मच लोड वी हैव ऑन द सी पी यू और मेमरी वी कैन यूज टूल्स लाइक सार and then how to transform that data which we have captured using the sar using a tools like uh, gnu plot into a graph because monitoring is one of the very very important aspects that we have to continually monitor the load on the servers i should be able to analyze when the load is coming up right or shooting up or when it is going down so let's start with the very basic things i have a simple uh, ubuntu machine here so the first thing that i need to do i need to install the sar right system activity and reports so i can install the sar now sar is a tool is a part of the sysstat package so first thing i have to do is uh, i do a apt update to just update the repositories and once it is done just for a minute yeah so this is very very important that i should be able to capture it and i do a apt install sysstat sysstat right oh sorry spelling is wrong sysstat so i install it i install the sysstat and that was my phone by the way i had put it on silent much better let's finish this video then i'll take it so the sysstat got installed here it is now once the sys sar is installed i can show you man sar we can get information about it i'm not going into this so using sar is very simple just do a sar which Uh, component you intend to monitor let's suppose u is for the cpu i say u for every 1 second capture it for next 10 second right so it shows you the load on the cpu all the cpus are coming up here like this so currently i don't have any load here and one thing it's 98% idle and one thing which is uh, bad for reporting is is that it shows the time in am pm right so i won't be able to Uh, put am pm in the, uh, in the graph the better way is if the sar will show me the time in 24 hour clock rather than the am pm right the 12 hour so a very small hack will do just create a alias here alias sar equal to right and say language equal to c sar that's it now after this if i run the same command let's check it out now see it's showing me the time in 24 hour clock which will be much more easy to plot because am pm cannot be plotted right now this is there so let's do one thing let's put some load on the server right so there are multiple ways in which you can put the load on the server one i can use the dd command i can use yes also there is a tool there yes and uh for putting the load i also need to find out how many cores i have got in this machine so if i do a ls cpu i have got two cores right so i should be putting the load on both the cores so what i do i open one more tab here right and i give the command here say if i give the dd command here dd command you are aware of right i said dd if is equal to dev 0 right of i can e either put the output in a file or i can dump it i say dev null right i put it here i run it i'll do a control c now if 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 i give the command here see here there should there should be a change see the load is coming up earlier it was 99% free right now two cpus are getting load right i do a control c here so one way is see if i again give the command here sar shows me the cpu is again idle that makes sense so 
but it is putting the load on one core so what i can do either i can create a script to put the load or there is very interesting tool there yes yes can be used to put the load on the uh, server on the cpu so just do a yes hyphen hyphen version whether it, uh, it is installed or not yes it is installed so by default yes is a part of the core utils package and chances are that it will be pre-installed if it, if it is not please make sure you install the core, core utils package so what the yes does yes you type anything hello right it keeps on writing this word infinitely and right see why, 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 why i do or i do a yes i say here hello uh, this is loop right it just keeps on writing it so obviously it's going to put load on the server if i run the command again i should be seeing some activity see 29 percent so we are able to see the spike right the moment i close this i do a control c it, it, it will come back see 93 99 so I can use any of these tools. So, and what I have to do, I have to capture this and redirect the output to a file, right? So, and the, uh, the, so the first thing is that make sure that the timing should be in 24 hour clock and then we will capture it. So what I am going to do, I am going to run the yes command, I, I think will be good. But I have got two core of CPUs, right? So I can put a pipe here. I can let me first start right i'll first start and once uh, like uh, it is running in between i will run that command so i run that sar I'll, I'll, i i will first show you say for 20 seconds right and here i will run the command right i will just write it not run it this uh, is for Core to anything, huh? Now, here I press enter, it is capturing no load, and now I press enter. Now, see here, now load started, right? So, in between the load started earlier, it was good. Then, in, in between the load started, I do a control C, closed it, the load comes back, right? So, what I'm going to do, I'm going to capture this into a file, right? So, let me capture it. So I run this, it's very simple, just redirect the output to a file. I say um, my CPU load, right? any file name, whatever you wish to do, any file name. So I put uh, enter here, right? And then, oh, sorry, I should put it in the background, right? Let my cursor come back and then here I run the code, right? So for 20 seconds, it's going to capture. I can, I can check it out with the jobs. It is still running. So once 20 seconds is over, I'm going to do a control C here, right? So that we can see a fluctuation coming up. I pre press control C, let the job finish. Let the job finish, it is still running. So this is how we have taken the load, the runtime, how the machine is behaving, how the machine is behaving currently. I have taken it, I have taken a sample and I have redirected to a file. It is finished. Now, so I have the file with me, my CPU load, right? If I open this, my CPU load, that's a file. But the point is, if, if I will show you this, it will be very difficult for you to find out what is going on, right? Isn't it much better if it comes in, in a graph? That is what we are going to do. Now, number one thing, obviously the text cannot be converted into graph, right? So one, line number one, line number two and line number three, these top three lines I need to, to remove. But before I remove, I need to uh, remember that what I need to plot. I think I need to plot what? I need to plot, I need to plot the time, this is the, the time, that is the column number one. Say I am in, I'm interested in how much process spend the time in the user space column number two how much time the cpu or the process spend in the kernel space right or the system space three suppose these three things i wanted to plot i okay let me also plot the idle time four so one sorry 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 this is not three this is not three this is not three this is so these are the columns let me first write the columns right this is column number one two three four 
5, 6, 7, 8, right? So I need to plot what? I need to plot not number one the time. You time spent in the you the user space, time spent in the kernel space, right? And let's suppose I also will plot the idle. So means I have to plot what column number one, column number two, sorry three, five and eight, right? These data I need to plot one three five eight. So you have to remember this or write it somewhere. Okay, I have written it one three five eight, right? So what I do now, I will remove the other things. I don't need this. So I had explained to you and I need to remove the top three lines because these three lines can't be uh, plotted, right? This is character. This is space. This is character. So these lines need to be removed from the five first three lines or whatever the headers are, right? So I'm going to remove this. First, let me remove this. I'm going to save this, right? One, three or whatever the number is. So I open the file. I open the file, my CPU load. I remove these lines, DD, DD, DD. That's it, right? Now this is pure data. And I can also remove the last line, average. Not interested, right? Save and come out. So this is pure data. Now I have to install the GNU plot package. So apt install GNU plot, right? install the GNU plot. I have the data file, but that is raw data. If I give that data to you, it's of no use or you will be finding it very difficult to, uh, to analyze what is exactly going on. So I have installed the GNU plot. So GNU plot can work in two modes. One is the interactive mode. Another is, is the batch mode. We will be using the batch mode. Batch mode means we'll be creating a file. So I'm just sticking to the very basics. So my data is in my CPU load, right? This is my uh, data here right now I will be using this and these are the column numbers one three five eight which is on the right hand side so I create a file any file name so I say uh, CPU load dot and what 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 was the file name I need to, to, to remember this file name the file name is my CPU load right then I create a file name say CPU graph dot G plot anything extension should be gplot and write something here set x data time x axis and y axis right x data is going to be time set uh, time format i can also give right uh, time format is say hour minute seconds right so i put here hour and then minutes sorry minutes sorry this hour and then minutes what happened oh my cursor is not where is my cursor minutes and then seconds right colon is missing here have to be slightly careful perfect so i have put it set x x data is the time time format is hour minute seconds and i say set x label is a time right time set y label y axis right x axis and y axis a b e l label so let it be cpu load huh let it be cpu load i say cpu usage right okay now i have to write plot plot my file name what what was the file name my file name was my cpu load right that was the file name so i have to write that file name plot my cpu load right using one colon three first was a time first column right third column and i say title this was what uh, time spent in the user mode right so i say user mode with lines you have to remember this then replot very easy once you do it it's going to be very easy my cpu load same file name right using one colon five right title that was kernel mode right kernel mode with lines and replot my cpu load right using one colon eight that is why we had 
uh, noted down this right title free right cpu free i say cpu load anything huh with lines or it, it it was actually free so let me write free here cpu free right with line that's all if you have more columns feel free to do it now so we have this file it is capturing it now what i how will i plot it very simple just write the command gnu plot persist if you won't give persist it will just do a blink and go off right persist and the file name your file name is what was the file name cpu graph dot g plot cpu graph dot g plot that's it all i have to do is this if i press enter here oh some typo error here yes 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 see two times colon that is the typo i should have taken care of it i hope now it is fine let's run it wow isn't it interesting amazing right you get the complete cpu how the cpu is moving see brilliant suddenly the load increase see the cpu free blue earlier before i had ran the dd command it was 90 percent free the moment i run this it dropped to 20 percent right it drops to 20 percent and the kernel mode how much time the cpu has spent in the kernel mode the green one how much time the cpu has spent in the user mode the whatever color it is right merchant or whatever and then once the dd command i had pressed the control c it shoots back again so this is how you will be able to monitor the load on different components of your linux server much easily rather than seeing the numbers i hope you have liked it very small trick try it so see the cpu usage is coming on the here x axis it is time usage time is coming up when the load increased right so we normally do sampling but okay let's check the cpu between 9 to 12 then after lunch say pre lunch post lunch and we will be able to find out when is the time where the load is more coming or like hitting the server accordingly we will be able to do a capacity planning or all that i hope you have liked it do comment do subscribe and if you wanted to learn more onto this feel free to join us for the linux trainings and performance tuning trainings amazing stuff guys thank you very much take care god bless